Escalation uh, of conflict can actually be very good. Stimulation to a point where not only are you drawing things out and pulling them out from under the rug, and there always is stuff, but you're also switching on creative juices. So stimulating conflict and working with a, a positive escalation is an important exercise. What contributes to negative escalation? Entrapment. You feel like you're being trapped in a situation and you have no choice but to go the power or the rights route. Multiple issues, very difficult. When you come from a position, you are usually focused on a particular issue. Multiple issues make it complex and you usually require a third party, possibly a mediator, to see it with fresh eyes. The intensity, intensity of the conflict contributes to escalation, past grievances, selective perception. You're accepting certain things and you're not accepting th certain things because you're perceiving them differently. You're perceiving things according to preconceived ideas. Negative attribution, that's when the other person says anything, and no matter what they say, just because they said it, it's no good. Partialization, you're putting things in pigeonholes, and that can also develop much like multiple issues does into negative escalation. Stereotyping, very similar also. You're putting people in boxes and that stereotyping is very difficult to uh, get over in order to find the correct formula for interests being met. And then the last one in this list is victimhood. I'm a victim of all this. And therefore, we have nothing much to talk about because I'm the one that got hurt. I'm the one that got whatever it is. I'm the victim.